Hello, dear students. I'm Yulian Vrivna. Because of the quarantine, we still continue to study with the help of video lessons. And today's lesson is about the passive voice. This can be a really confusing grammar structure in English. Lots of you did the homework and made a lot of mistakes. And that's why I want you to repeat what it looks like and why it's useful. Stay with me through this entire lesson. Keep focused and um, it's not that long. Thank you. First of all, I want you to have a look at the signs. For example, no dogs allowed on the beach or warning English teacher your grammar may be corrected at any time or you are being watched, all deliveries must be made at Southgate, English spoken here, etc. And all these sentences are given in passive. We use the passive when the person or people doing the action is or are unknown, unimportant, or obvious from the context. For example, a lot of money was stolen in the robbery. Somebody stole it, but we don't know who. Is this room cleaned every day? Does somebody clean it? Actually, it's not important who. Also, we use the passive when we want to give importance to the object of the active voice. Uh, and with an example, America was discovered in 1942 by Columbus. The passive is used also in writing an informal speech such as public information, rules, signs, brochures, and media reports. For example, cycling is not permitted in the area and bookings can be made online. How to form the passive voice? We form the passive with the verb to be in the appropriate tense and the past participle of the main verb. For example, many accidents are caused by careless driving. The car is been fixed. The letter has been written. There were many problems at first, but they seem to have been solved. Changing from the active to the passive. The object of the active sentence becomes the subject in the passive sentence. The active verb changes into the relevant passive form. The subject of the active sentence becomes the agent. And there is an example. My grandfather built this house in 1961. And the passive sentence, this house was built by my grandfather. As you can see, the subject of the active sentence, my grandfather, was changed to the agent of the passive sentence my, by my grandfather. And also there are some examples. Charles cleans the windows. The windows are cleaned by Charles. You will write a book or a book will be written. I should walk the dogs every day, which is the dogs should be walked every day. Cindy turned down the offer and uh, we change it into passive into the passive the offer was turned down by cindy there are some examples of the passive in a range of verb tenses let's start with present simple the butter is kept here past simple the window was broken future simple the work will be done soon Present continuous, the bridge is being repaired. Past continuous, the cheese was being eaten by mice. Present perfect, our work has been finished. Past perfect, the car hadn't been used much. Future perfect, the house will have been built by them. Model verb with can, the shelf can be reached. Model verb must, the task must be done now. The model verb may, the lesson may be finished. And uh, other model verbs, for example, the car ought to be repaired. Don't forget that only transitive verbs can form passive and um, intransitive verbs cannot form the passive. 
Which verbs are actually transitive? Trans transitive verbs are verbs that need an object. For example, Janet earned the promotion. What did Janet earn? She earned the promotion. And the promotion is the object of the sentence. The promotion, we can easily we can easily change this sentence into the passive. For example, the promotion was earned by Janet. What about intransitive verbs? Intransitive verbs cannot have an object. And there is an example, the baby smiled. We cannot form the passive. It's obvious. Okay, uh, and some verbs can be transitive in one sentence and intransitive in another. I stopped the car and the car stopped. Uh, in the second sentence, there is no object. Okay, and uh, very important information. Some transitive verbs, for example, have, same, suit, resemble, fit, cannot, cha cannot be changed into the passive. This dress fits you. We cannot change this sentence into the passive. This dress is fitted by you is totally not correct. We can use get instead of be in the passive. For example, I'm surprised Liz didn't get offered the job. Liz wasn't offered the job. I got invited to the birthday party. I was invited. There was an accident, but nobody got hurt. Nobody was hurt. We use get only when things happen. For example, you cannot use get in these sentences. Jim is liked by everybody. Not gets liked. This is not a happening. Or Peter was a mystery man. Very little was known about him. Not got known. And also, we use get mainly in informal spoken English. You can use the verb to be in all situations. By plus the agent is used to say who or what carries out an action. These cookies were made by my sister. A hard day's night was written by the Beatles. We use we the plus instrument, material, or ingredient to say what the agent used. For example, the paper was cut with a knife and the cake was made with lots of butter and eggs. Where do prepositions in passive sentences go? When we put an active sentence where a preposition follows after the verb, for example, break into or look after or listen to into a passive, the preposition remains immediately after the verb. For example, someone broke into the pet shop and the passive sentence, the pet shop was broken into. Some verbs that have two objects can make two different passive sentences. Verbs like these are bring, give, ask, pay, sell, offer, owe, show, um, tell, send, uh, lend, leave, promise, take, teach, throw, write, etc. And there is an example. They gave Susan a prize. We can form two passive sentences. The first one is Susan was given a prize and the second one is prize was given to Susan. And if the verb has two objects, we usually use the person as the subject in the passive sentence. For example, no one gave me any directions. I wasn't given any directions. A common way of reporting what is said by people in general or by an unspecified group of people is to use it plus passive verb and that clause. For this impersonal passive 
we use verbs like believe, think, consider, say, report, know, expect, fail, understand, find, um, and the right examples, the active sentence. They say that he started the fire and the passive with introductory it. It is said that he started the fire. They think that she doesn't live in London. It is thought that she doesn't live in London. We knew that the king is coming tomorrow. It was known that the king is coming tomorrow. After watching this video, please do your homework. Uh, from your workbooks, page 122 to 123, exercises 1 to 5, and um, some exercises on worksheets. And also, deadline is till 14th of March. Thank you very much for watching.